everyone my name is Rama Banya today I am going to give a video presentation on the assessment title Webjet Limited at first Webjet Limited is recognized as a global travel business which enables to travel since 1998 Webjet Limited was established in 1998 Webjet started as a small set of seeing in order to distribute the traditional norms in the highly competitive online travel industry. Webjet became the number one OTA in the Australia and New Zealand in the just year of 10 years. Various types of key performance indicators are found in the Webjet Limited, which are TTV and revenue were of materially that are compared to one year at the end of March 31st, 2021, which is 266% and 466% respectively. Other key financial results and trends include FY22 which are underlying EBITDA loss of $15 million, which reflects improvement in the $100 million, which can be compared to the 12th month of 31st March 2021. Some of the strengths of Webjet Limited are reliable suppliers, strong free cash flow, strong trade community, Strong performance in new market, successful record of integrating firms through merge and acquisition, strong brand portfolio, and some of the weakness of Webjet Limited are not highly successful with different work culture, marketing of the product is a lot to be desired, financial performance is not done properly and efficiently. And some of the strategies of Webjet Limited are OTA international flight booking of the company have gone on given on 57% during the second quarter of 2021 and rising 51% in the first quarter. Spending marketing at 1.5% of TTB previously was 2% by reduction in paid source while increasing emails, broadcasting, billboards, and social media. Web's domestic hotels and e-commerce business were very strong at the time of pandemic. In the month of August, TTP rising 50% and hotel merchandising has driven very high. And in the recommendation, the recommendation can be given to the stakeholder for marketing the Webjet Limited better. Some of the recommendations of the Webjet Limited includes providing the most common way for valuing as ASX share in order to calculate the company's price to earning ratio. Similarly, different type of metric can be provided with more clarification as to whether a company is overvalued or undervalued. Thus, in the conclusion, Webjet Limited is a global travel business operating in the both consumer and the wholesale markets. Webjet Limited can be better with the increment in the sale of the operator by highlighting the benefits of different products and services as well as performing different types of activity in the internet. I would like to conclude my presentation. Thank you.